Hi my loves. It's another Glitter Girls collab. And this is for Easter. This was a like, happy Easter everybody. Um I know a lot of people want to go to church and stuff, so it's like rushing to church as you guys. If you didn't know, um you could do it over your phone and stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. And happy Easter everybody. And don't forget to check out the other ladies also. They did some awesome work. Um, I'll leave the playlist below in the description box and in the comments as well. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. And right now I'm just showing you the polishes I use for the set that I did today. And most of it is Beatles and the rest is my Wood painting gel. Um, y'all, I forgot to let you know um, the music that I've been playing in the background. You forget to check them out. It's family for uh, uh, to hear Brown. That's who he is. It's by. He has a YouTube page as well. He does some free beats you guys can use. Um, yeah, I just want you guys to know that. To give him a shout out. Check him out on YouTube. He has some filthy beats. Alright. Okay, so I'm using some of my bottle of my solid uh, paint gel. I'm using yellow and I'm using some of the blue from the Beatles gel polish because I have no green, so I'm going to get like the right color. So basically, I'm going to mix this up for you guys. I sped the video up. It was kind of long, you guys. It was like two hours. And I have to show them to like 20 minutes. So I hope you guys enjoy. It only really takes a minute to like get the right kind of color that you really need. And I think that's the fun part about uh, making your own colors and stuff. You get to experiment and see what you come up with. It's all fun. So right here I'm about to just draw some grass. And I'm going to give it like different colors. So basically I'm going to draw some lines to form the grass. And then I'm going to... um cure it for like 30 seconds and then kind of like lighten the color up darken the green up some more and then you know keep adding overlaying it until i get the desired look that i want I just want to say one thing here. This girl over here is not a professional, so um, yeah, I just want you to know that I'm learning just like um, a lot of other people. And hopefully, when all this stuff is over, I get to go back and save up some money and start from going to nail school. This is I'm out of work right now, just like everybody else. I hope you guys are staying home and not going out and being in crowds and going to the beach or the park, stuff like that, because I heard that's going on. It's going to warm up right now, and I can't believe it in Washington State. People are having picnics and barbecuing and just kicking it like it's not like something to do right now, it really ain't. So I hope you guys are up and safe and bring productive like, in the house, you know, read a book write a book, write some poems, do some drawings, you know, do something that you've been wanting to do for a long time. Right now is the perfect time to do it. So right now I was trying to um, draw like, you know, the sky, but I made it too blue, but I was like, it's whatever. So I decided to add some poly gel. I didn't show that part. And you know, to add these cute little carrots that I got. I'm just going to put those on and I cured that for like 60 seconds. And right here I'm, um, okay, so I attempted to make some clouds and, girl, they're not working for me as you can tell. Like, I was not thinking like, I can make clouds, but I don't know, it's just, my mind was somewhere else and I was like, I got the wrong brush and everything and everything, so. I attempted to try to do this call like six times and I just gave up and decided to um, 
dilute it with some alcohol a little bit and you know try to make the blue have a little like little hints of white to it you know as you can see right here and when I did this too I didn't like it either so I decided to like you know try to start to make like the ombre effect and I realized that the blue wasn't cute all the way so I started adding white to it and it wasn't really working for me so I added some more blue then I added some more white and then I just add them together and I try to work it out it took me a minute you know because I'm not really used to like ombre and stuff like that so I wanted to like blend in but I think I did pretty good you guys let me know if you think I, if I did good or not I think I did alright I'm trying y'all um, really and yeah, I might not have the right brush either I think I might need a longer brush maybe or a shorter brush I'm not sure but these painting brushes, yeah. It's like something to get used to, but I really, really like it. So right here, I'm doing the same thing before. I'm drawing some more uh, grass. <laughs> Not really good at it, but you know, I'll get there eventually. It's kind of different when you're used to like drawing something big and then you try to do something so small. And I'm not really used to like using paintbrushes or anything like that. It's mostly pencils and um, pastels, oil, chalk, all that good stuff. So it's like these things are skinny little paintbrushes, you know. It just takes some getting used to, but I bet pretty sure. Next year, I probably got to get a down pat. Like, way better than what I'm doing right now. So, I wish you guys know it's almost um, a year for me since I started, like, really, really doing nails and I put something on YouTube and Instagram. So, it'll be like, in, like four days or five days, I think. So, I'm going to see how far I went and see how far I came. I think I did quite well. You know, the fact there's a lot of times where I was like really, really busy and I had time to do nails. So you see right here, I kind of changed the color up again. But you can't see what I'm doing. I'm mixing some of that darker green with the lighter green and a little yellow on the side to try to change it up a little bit. So right here, I was trying to, um, I don't know what I was doing. It was just, actually, it was just like freestyle, you know. I was just going with the flow. I was like, let me just put like some Easter colors on here and then, you know, put like dots and stuff on it. Like it's an Easter egg, but not an Easter egg. It's like brush strokes, kind of. And I noticed with this um, painting polish gel, whatever, um, I'm not sure because I didn't mix it up or what, but the purple and the green was like, it went on really smooth, it was like perfect. But when I used the um, blue, and then, um, I don't know, it's like maybe it was overlapping and it started to feel kind of weird, but it wasn't as smooth as it was before, but I think that's probably what the problem was. It's like those paintings you get in the store or something like that. So I wanted to put the colors all over the place and, you know, just go with the flow and see what happens. And I kind of made a mistake because I want the purple to be like the highlight of everything, but you're going to see it kind of faded to the back. So right here, um, I decided to do three nails, paint them all solid colors with the Beetle Joe polish. And this is the, the, some of their pastel colors. I'm going to try this out. Okay, so I wanted to change it up in the last second, so I decided to add different colors to these. So this is from my room as well. This is part of the macaroon collection, or from spring to summer collection. It's one of the two. 
But as you can see, I'm adding different colors, different layers of colors. And they're going to be kind of like Easter eggs. A couple of the colors I have to go over twice. You can see the colors, but like this one right here is yellow one. And some of the ones I wasn't in the view of the camera, so you was able to see what I actually did. I'm sorry about that, you guys. There's a little bit of a couple of other parts of the video, like towards the end. That's like that as well. So yeah, this orange, I don't know, it's like... Anytime I put it over something, it's like very blotchy and... It's not like solid like the rest of the color, so I don't really know what that was about. I don't know, because I was cleaning my brush too many times and... It wasn't dry enough. I don't know what the problem was, but... It was really working. It wasn't working with that and the um, green one as well. It worked with the blue and purple one, but I don't know. Something weird going on. Okay, so right here I'm about to just draw the designs to separate the colors. Because you see, there wasn't straight lines to, to begin with. Because I was going to put the white over in the, the first place to begin with. So right here, I'm just, I wiped it off because I messed up. I didn't like how it looked. So I wanted to do like, you know, um, zigzag design on the bottom. Hmm. Oh, sorry about that. Yo, anybody else that sleep happens like going crazy? Cause okay, it is two, 49 p.m. in the afternoon. I'm so tired. I woke up at 1 o'clock. No, I mean, 11 to 10 o'clock last night. So, yeah, my sleeping habits are like all backwards because I'm usually waking up at 5 o'clock before the morning for work. So, this is going to be a big old change. Go back to work, you guys. So, any of you guys still working out there or when there's some trouble or anything like that? Let me know how it's going for you guys. I know why you guys don't have masks or guys are going to protect yourself at work. And I know the QLC where I'm at. They're supposed to um, have social distancing there and you know, have stuff on the ground for six inches to six feet apart. And they're not doing that. And they were filming up there, and he said it was packed, and the other was six feet apart, and the other were close to each other, and it was just, it was so crazy. I think he was looking at many people in the store also, but I don't know. It was just like there was a very rare day, and you know, everything was going on. Yeah, so Okay, so I forgot to record the decal one, but you guys said so you know what that looks like. But I said I wanted the decal to pop out a little more, so I put a white outline over it. So you guys are able to see it better because I feel like it was just like blending in the background. I wanted to like boom, like pop, like see me, I see you, you can see me. That's what I did. And I kept that for 30 seconds as well.
Okay, so me writing Happy Easter, that was a real struggle because the first Happy I wrote was like, it was so perfect, you guys. I'm telling you, like, it was so perfect. My bad forgot to cure it and my glove just smeared the whole thing off. So I do it all over. I do it like three times over and I finally got it right. But I didn't really like it. So I was like, it's whatever. And I'm sorry to my of you as well. I really tried to, you guys. And this is like towards the end of the video. I'm just gonna write Happy Easter. And then, you know, like after this, I'm gonna top coat each one for you guys. Unless it's gonna look like. And I'm gonna post a video later at the end results. And if you're on Instagram as well, I will post some pictures on Instagram to see what the nails look like. And I hope you guys enjoy. And don't forget to check out the other ladies as well. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And do the same thing for all the other lady ladies that are in this collab. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. And I will catch you in the next one. I'll talk to you later. Bye.